Hi, so today I'm going to be going over one of the things that I hate about this video series, which is I used to get all these easily fixable boards that were simple to me, and that, that, is, that is gone. I mean, from walk-in customers, yeah. From other shops, no. Uh, so let me just show you in the microscope what I'm talking about. So this is a board that just recently came in, and so the ISL area has already been added, and Let's see, high side current sensing to SMC stuff has already been done, and the 5 volt circuit has already been reworked, and, and the problem that we have with this board is that it turns on and turns off. Now, it turn, the, the, the person sent it saying it turns on, turns off, turns on, turns off. But when you take it out of the computer, one of the things that they didn't, they didn't say, when it's actually out of the machine, it works just fine. So I have to start using my brain here. So I don't think this person ever actually tested this board outside of the computer. So when it's outside of the computer, it works. But when I start plugging things in, it dies. So I, st I start trying to use my brain, and I just plug in each individual component and try to figure out at what point does it stop working. It stops working when the trackpad is plugged in. So, hmm, why would it stop working when the trackpad is plugged in? Well, the trackpad, as we're going to go over and see on the schematic, has an 18-volt rail. So... I'm going to show you that here. All right, so over here you can see the 18.5 volt boost circuit for sensors. Now, here we don't mean sensors in terms of how much power is the CPU using, how, what temperature is here. We mean sensor in terms of sensing you touching the trackpad. The trackpad needs the 18.5 volts on it. So this gets turned on when it detects the trackpad and it has an input of 5 volts. Now, if the 5 volt rail is shorted to ground, the computer is going to stop working. So I thought, let me just look around this area and get an idea of what's going on. It turns off every time the trackpad plugs in. And when you look around this area, you'll, you'll get an idea really quickly of what it is that was happening. So let's look under it with the microscope. This is the chip. And doesn't that just look like a bunch of total shit? Now, the tab that is messed up over here, this is a little, you know, the one on the bottom right, if we look over on the board view, you'll see that that is where... Let's see, PP5ES3 comes into the chip. So that is pretty much, that's pin 2, which is the voltage into the chip. And that, that looks like crap. I'm, honest, I'm not even going to take out my multimeter for real here. I'm not, I'm not going to even measure anything. I'm just going to take that stuff that looks like crap and throw it in the garbage where it belongs and replace with another. Again, this is, I'm pretty sure I know my problem. Uh, that chip is mo or the capacitor next to it is most likely shorting to ground. So when it detects the trackpad, it, and it turns that on. It turns on the um, it turns on the the 18.5 volts. The 5 volt rail that is going to the input of that chip winds up getting shorted to ground, and that's when all, all types of sad things happen. So I'm gonna heat this thing and remove it. Oh, you can't see that because I forgot to hit the button. Sorry about that. Okay, here we go. And off, off and away. Bye-bye. And that, that stuff that next to it that looks like crap can go as well. You may not notice that it looks like crap as, as much as I do, but this is the right pad of that. Like on the screen, it doesn't look like crap, but in the eyepieces, it looks awful. So goodbye. And goodbye. I want to be able to actually work there, so I'm scraping away all the nasty shit. My soldering iron. So I need solder to actually stick to that pad and you know, conduct properly. Come on. That's what we call a complete mess. That could still be better. Okay, we gotten somewhere.
Okay, I am satisfied that the area is fairly clean. And we're going to dump a new chip on there. That is a mess, but you get what I was trying to accomplish there. I was trying to clean away all that junk that was on the pad. Now we do this. New chip. Okay, so... I'm, yeah, I turned my Hakko heat up a little too high because the heating element has not been working for the past week. And of course, now it decides to work, which caused me to burn that chip to high, high hell. So we're going to turn the heat down a little bit and try that again. Luckily, I have a lot of these boards. Eat the board. Thank God for surface tension because I know my hands aren't going to put that in the right place. Okay. That being said and done, I'm not even going to measure if my short to ground is gone. I haven't taken out the multimeter for any of this. Waste of time. Trackpad connected, turned on, working just fine. And I appreciate that you followed enough of my videos to do this, but if you, if you followed enough of it to be able to troubleshoot all these different parts of the circuit, if you followed enough to be able to troubleshoot the issues with current sensing, the issues with sensors going to the SMC, with all the different power lines, can you do me a favor and just unpl unplug all the different components that are plugged into it and test the board outside of the computer before you send it here? Because now I'm going to be sending you a bill for a couple of hundred bucks for what, what really would amount to about three minutes of my time. And I'm not going to feel the least bit bad about it because I'm using my brain and at one point you weren't. And I know I'm being harsh here, but seriously, I want you to be at the point where you don't have to give me money. I'm trying to get you to where you don't have to pay me and, and you're set. Uh, you know, I, and again, as I said in the past video about professionalism and how people come off, this is, this, I don't care if you hate me. I want, I'd rather you hate me and be able to do all of this yourself than you love me and you just keep giving me money. As much, I'll, I'll keep taking your money if you want to keep giving it to me, but I would really prefer that you be self-sufficient. So again, here, that's pretty much uh, a lesson here. You know, check the board outside of the machine to make sure that it's not any of the it's not any of the components that you're plugging in or that are bad. Also check your board outside of the machine because maybe there's a specific circuit on the board that's dying because you're plugging it into something. Maybe it's your Wi-Fi, maybe it's the battery indicator, whatever it is. It could be the board or it could be the component, but it's going to lead you to use your brain once you uh, have an idea what's going on. Again, so when I uh, plugged the trackpad into this computer, it stopped working. So that caused me to look at the trackpad part of the, the booster circuit. When I looked at the booster circuit for the trackpad, I realized that it looked like complete shit. When I, looked, I saw that it looked like complete shit, I decided to replace what looked like complete shit. And again, I haven't turned my multimeter on at all. I'm just following what the board is telling me from what I see. And if you do the same thing, then you'll be able to figure it out without having to pay me. And that's it for today.